welcome back to yet another day of exploring in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Today, we're taking the passenger ferry over to St. John from St. Thomas before hopping into a cab that will bring us all the way to Coral Bay for an amazing boat day around the east end of St. John. Aside from bringing your own vehicle to the car barge, this is the easiest way to visit St. John if you're staying on St. Thomas. The passenger ferry departs from Red Hook and arrives in Cruise Bay on St. John, the island's largest town. After that, you'll need to hop on one of these safari taxis to explore the other sections of the island. Once you've arrived at your destination, make sure you've situated a return ride or gotten the cab driver's number. You'd hate to get stranded deep within the interior of St. John. Like I said, we're here for an epic boat day in Coral Bay, specifically aboard Salt Deck, a beautiful boat suitable for small groups with its very own water slide. But water slide aside, the main goal for today is to go snorkel in Hurricane Hole. A part of Virgin Islands Coral Reef National Monument, Hurricane Hole is a series of small bays lined with mangroves just outside of Coral Bay. It's the only place in the U.S. Virgin Islands where you can safely snorkel amidst the mangroves and expect to see wildlife. Additionally, some areas of Hurricane Hole also feature beautiful coral reefs along rocky outcroppings like this one. Although listed as critically endangered in the U.S., these branches of elkhorn coral seem to be making a comeback in the U.S. Virgin Islands. If you're unfamiliar with mangroves, these trees are vitally important to coastal ecosystems all over the world. They serve as habitat for wildlife, nurseries for juvenile marine species, attachment sites for coral growth, and even reduce impacts of hurricanes along coastal zones. In fact, the name Hurricane Hole comes from the many sailboats that shelter in the mangroves here to outlast the strongest storms in the Caribbean. To let you in on our inside joke, Laura conducts mangrove research at the University of the Virgin Islands with a group of women self-dubbed as the Mangrove Mamas. Fitting. Luckily for us, the snorkeling adventures have just begun. Hurricane Hole is massive, with multiple bays ripe for exploring. This next one was our absolute favorite.
And if snorkeling isn't your thing, you can always float along, taking in the views and enjoying a cold drink. As with any boat trip into Coral Bay, it's customary to stop at Limeout VI for lunch. It's a floating taco stand in the middle of Coral Bay, a great idea with even better execution. Although expensive, the tacos are surprisingly delicious. <laughs> Just do your best to keep your money dry, but I promise you they do accept soggy dollars. Come on! We're almost there. Do it for the tacos, like. <laughs> there are multiple ways and multiple boat trips that will bring you to Limeout VI. I've written an article about it, so be sure to find the link below. Until next time. After lunch, we have one more stop before we're done for the day. Hanson Bay Beach to find some sea turtles. First, I definitely need to finally play on that slide. <laughs> and after that, it's back into the water to snorkel with sea turtles. In the U.S. Virgin Islands, there are three species of sea turtles, green, hawksbill, and leatherback. If you snorkel off of almost any beach, you have a great chance of encountering at least a green sea turtle, many of which are friendly enough to let you get up close. However, keep in mind, look, but don't touch. It's a federal offense. For those of you who are wondering, the strange fish tagging along are called remora. They're essentially suckerfish, often seen eating the algae off of larger megafauna like turtles, rays, and sharks. And as a total side note for anyone who likes using a GoPro while snorkeling, check out the difference in color with a filter and without a filter. I've included a few articles down below with tips for better GoPro videos while snorkeling, including the best ways to use filters for better colors. If I can make one guarantee, it's that any amount of time spent on the water is sure to exhaust your entire group. <laughs>